We've all heard of our modern world's waste problem. We simply produce too much trash. And some of that trash is especially problematic. It's what we call electronic or e-waste. But new research from the lab and its partners has designed a new process that involves eating e-waste to recycle it. And not in the way you might think. E-waste is all of the electronic stuff we don't use anymore. Old TVs, smartphones, computers, printers, you name it, can all end up here in the junkyard. And some of these products can contain materials that make them hazardous, which poses a problem for what the heck we do with these items once they end up here. One such ingredient type in these items is rare earth elements. Rare earth elements are things like all of these guys, and they're used in our modern electronics like smartphones and computers. And they can pose a serious pollution problem once they end up as e-waste. Basically, rare earth elements uh, actually not bad rare. They are relatively abundant in nature. They actually classify them as rare earth. They are relatively And actually, they are used Rare earth elements are only mined in a few countries in the world, and the mining process can be really expensive and environmentally destructive. So if we want to move toward a more sustainable life cycle for products like these, then figuring out how to recycle and reuse rare earth elements instead of always mining for new ones every time we want some and just letting these sit here and leach away, well, figuring out how to recycle rare earth elements is pretty essential. But so far, many processes that extract and purify rare earth elements for reuse are complex, intensive, and the recycling process itself can be harmful to the environment, which is exactly what we're trying to avoid by recycling them in the first place. This is where the lab comes in. LNL scientists, in collaboration with Penn State University and Idaho National Lab researchers, have come up with a new process involving this special protein called LAN modulin. LAN modulin is produced by certain bacteria, and it's the only known biomolecule of its kind that has naturally evolved to attach to and isolate rare earth elements. So LAN modulin was actually discovered by Penn State University about two years ago. So now we are working with that to use this particular protein to extract rare earth elements. LAN modulin is a small protein, it has a binding process. And it does this all while avoiding attaching to non-rare earth elements, meaning you could apply this protein to your e-waste and it'll essentially eat up all of the rare earth elements you want to extract, just purified and ready for reuse. If you have a powder and you throw something very small like a powder or some sand, you know, everything we just do. They certainly you can add to a process like bigger pieces in our case of protein that certainly they are retained. Right, exactly. So so when the protein binds to the rare earth, it becomes a larger unit as a whole and therefore easier to extract. Yes. Okay. I think the main message of this study and process is that we have to think outside the box with different pieces. It doesn't necessarily have to if you have questions about this work or any other work we do at the lab, just let us know down in the comments and subscribe to this channel to catch more peeks inside the lab every month. If you have another discovery you want us to cover, let us know over on social media. We're at Livermore Lab on all of our platforms. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.